project that replaced the historic Anthony's Fish Grotto along the San Diego Bay is finally complete. Mayor Kevin Faulkner joined the port this afternoon for a ribbon cutting of Portside Pier set to officially open next week. Our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo shows us how these businesses plan to open amid a pandemic. Once fully staffed, Portside Pier will employ roughly 300 people. This project just the first of several projects on the waterfront. It's what the developers, owners and the city hope will become an iconic view of San Diego Bay's North Embarcadero. It's really an extreme makeover of the waterfront, if you will. Portside Pier, an over the water dining complex five years in the making with a price tag of over $20 million for restaurant types and views of the bay. It's Mexican food, uh, seafood, a uh, coffee and gelato bar and a pub fair uh, type concept. Portside Pier replacing Anthony's Fish Grotto, a staple on the bay for 52 years. The dining complex now owned by the Brigantine. It's obviously a less than ideal time to be opening. We really didn't have much control over the pandemic. Opening amid a pandemic means the restaurants will open with limited capacity. 500 seating capacity with physical distancing, so they've got plenty of outdoor space for folks to come down and enjoy it. Fortunately for the port and for the Brigantine, the complex was designed with with plenty of outdoor space. The only way they'll be able to serve customers for now. I would say it's probably going to cut business volume in half. That being said, it's always difficult to open a new restaurant. The restaurants officially open Tuesday, July 28th. Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.